This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Aloha, Hawaii. I'm Wendy Lowe, and I'm your best friend as we journey to take your health back. We are coming to you live from downtown Honolulu from the studios of Think Tech Hawaii. Today, our topic of discussion will be on a walk in the park with a Doc Oahu. That we want you to remember to take that first step towards better health. It is never too late. And what I would like you to take away from today's discussion and to encourage all of you is to follow one physician's solution. Join Walk with a Doc Oahu for education, exercise, and fellowship. Today we are very honored to welcome Teresa Wee, MD, pediatrician, president owner of the Wee Wellness Center, LLC, YPO Gentry, Waipahu, and your Walk with a Doc Oahu. Dr. Teresa Wee. Hi. Hi. I'm so excited that you're here. Thank Finally, you. I'm just so crazy about what you're doing and your Thank commitment you. to the people of the West Side. But not only that, but whoever can hear this message, that they can come out and follow you every Saturday morning. That's right. Right. And give us the location. It's Central Oahu Regional Park, mm -hmm. Patsy T. Mink. And I'm near the tennis courts. And it's a, it's a free event. And you can't miss them. No. Guys, there's banners, there's a crowd of people, and they're wearing these blue shirts. Yeah. And they're just, you can just feel their energy coming about because they just want to learn and, and live healthier, making healthier choices. And it starts one step at a time. But you got to take that first step. So before we go further into this discussion, Dr. Wee, can you just share a little bit about who you are? Well, I want everyone to know that I, I am a local girl. I went to Marino School. I was a Marino Spartan. Graduated, went to UH Manoa, and subsequently to the Jabsim Medical School here. And I was very fortunate to spend six years at Ohio State University Columbus Children's Hospital program, where I, I trained and, and, and learned. Um, my husband was with me. He did internal medicine up there as well. Well, on one of the next slides, they'll show you all the credentials. And I do see the, uh, the Marino Spartans logo <laughs> because we are both Spartans, right? Yes. Go Spartans. Go Spartans. Right? So when I saw you put the credentials up there, I'm like, yay, <laughs> go alma mater. So I'm excited about that as well. But you've done so well for yourself, and I'm well, so excited about that. So, you know, after spending six years in Columbus, Ohio, mm -hmm. What, you know, and, and doing your residency, graduate um, program training, what was it that made you and your husband want to come back to Hawaii after spending so much time up there? You know, as the next slide shows, um, we, we spent six years in Columbus, Ohio, and, and we were afforded great jobs, um, cost of living was great, but being a student from Jabsom, Hawaii invested in, in us, and I felt it was our responsibility to come back as well as having our first child there. Um, the grandmas were flying out five or six times each, and we said, you know what, let's investigate. Um, there was this little place called Waipio Gentry coming up, and we put our name in the lottery, and we, we got a home there, and as well as uh, there was a medical building going up. So we were the first physicians in the medical building in 1984. Pineapple fields all around us. Wow. But okay, so you hear, hear that, all you young aspiring doctors, physicians <laughs> that have traveled abroad to get furthered education. The key, what Dr. Wee just said, is that she felt her heart back in Hawaii and that she wanted yes. to take her heart, her family back here so that they can continue to encourage wellness here in our state yeah. and not, not just go there because things are different there, but we really need the brilliance and the hearts of Yes. Young physicians like yourself the dedication, and your husband. Yes. Primary care physicians. Yes. Such a need. Yes. And that is so, so important. Yes. So after practicing for what, 27 years yeah. in YPO Gentry? You know, we, we had our home right up the road. Uh -huh. um, they both, I mean, all four kids went to YPO Gentry, um, Hanalani and Mililani. And, and um, my husband was really a part of the YPO Gentry community, president of the association, Boy Scouts. Um, Sabrina Star Dance Studio. So we were very involved in the community and it was wonderful to raise them up there because 
both of us came from Makiki, so. Um, <laughs> so you were townies. We were townies, yes. so it was totally country. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, so you had a successful 27-year career in history in YPO Gentry area, and there was something that happened to you on June 11th, 2010. Yeah. Would you share a little bit about that? So my husband and I, um, Stephen Wee, he's an internal medicine doctor, and we had just celebrated our 30th wedding anniversary. Wow. Um, and he died suddenly and unexpectedly at the age of 55. Um, within one hour, they had pronounced him dead at, at St. Francis West. And I was presented with the business. Within a week, my lease was up for that month of June, and they more than doubled my rent and told me that I needed to sign a 10-year lease. And I said, I can't do this. Mm. I need to find another place. And it, it was a very difficult time, grieving the loss, um, stopped going to church. Um, really, after three months, I, I just one night went on my knees and said, God, if you really exist, you have to show me a sign. Mm -hmm. Within five days, a lady calls me. She was referred. And she said, I'm a practice manager. Wow. And I will turn your practice around. <laughs> and I said, I can't pay you right now. She said, it's OK. Um, I will go ahead, and you can pay me later. But before we go any further, may I pray for you? Wow. And that was the beginning of a partnership. Excellent. And you know, I, I would look at that as God was pruning you. He was. He gave you all the years of success, of beautiful partnership, and yeah. doing good for the state of Hawaii yeah. and for your family. And then there it is, it's gone. You know, okay. it, it was, I was given a second chance. Yes. I, I had to rediscover who I was after yes. his death and decided that I told God, if you help me, I will do what you want me to do. So I ended up buying this 3,000 square foot office and, and designed it and built it, We Wellness Center. And it has been quite a journey. Wow. So what was the motivating force behind all this? I mean, of course, you prayed, you got the vision, but yeah. what made you wake up and say, I'm going to just keep doing this? I, I just, my practice manager looked at me and said, what is your passion? And I said, my passion has always been to help families who, are, who have obese children. I really want to help them. And so if I really need to help them, I need an office. And Again, I, I just said, you know, I went to the banks and I said, if God doesn't want me to have this, they'll reject me. But things, one miracle after another happened. And so what you see is We Wellness Center. Wow, and what, a, what a cool name. I mean, right, we, <laughs> like little people, we people, you know, but we is the last name. It just makes so, it's so appropriate. Yeah. Everything yeah. that was meant to be and is and has been. Yes. And, you know, you nailed it when you chose pediatric obesity. Yes. Because that is a situation, a problem, not just in Hawaii and uh, throughout our nation. And um, obesity is the culprit and the beginning of many other issues and diseases. Most definitely. Mm -hmm. Pediatric is the number one health crisis facing us at this time. Because if we don't take care of our keikis, you know, this generation of keikis is going to be the first generation to yes. be more unhealthy than their parents. Yes. Throughout the 34 years of practice, you know, you see all these potlucks and, and fast foods, and yes. it's just, I'm fighting against this, but I, I try to send the message out. We can eat sensibly. We need to take action. Yes, we do. And you know, um, by looking at those slides, uh, the mm -hmm. photos foods, of the yeah. food on the slides, I mean, that's typical local food, and that's typically why we, the Hawaiian people, are such, have such high rates of diabetes. Oh wait, obesity. Obesity yeah. with diabetes. With okay. diabetes. And yeah. so I wanted to say is that um, I sit on the board of directors for American Diabetes mm -hmm. Association. And um, when I first got on board eight years ago, mm -hmm. we registered about 154,000 diabetics with uh -huh. about 1.4 million people in Hawaii. Uh -huh. Eight years later today, we register over 600,000. Wow. Type one, type two diabetes wow. okay diabetic so the numbers are not going down no they're getting more and we need to 
be more proactive. Yes. So having somebody like you in the community that really cares and is very passionate about mm -hmm. all this, it, it, it's so dear to my heart. And I just want more of you. I want to clone <laughs> you because everything you believe and say is what I, I just hope others can hear right. the message you know, of right. what your heart is all about, that we want to make a difference for not just us. I mean, guys, we're, we're 50s plus, okay? <laughs> and it's not our generation that no. needs this help. It's our keiki and our mo'opuna mm -hmm. that need this help. Yes. And we can make a difference, but we need to be a bigger voice. Yes, so, so that's why I, I really appreciate this. And, you know, throughout my 34-year career, I've seen younger children developing diabetes, high cholesterol, hypertension. I, I just shake my head, and I try to reach the young parents. Um, but, again, I'm just one person working individually in, in my private practice office. And right. I want to reach a more global uh, right. audience. And by what we're going to talk about after the yeah. break, um, I know we're going to touch more hearts and you're going to in, infect them with the right information. Yes. And that is so key. And that would give me such gratitude knowing that we've brought in more bodies to learn more about what they need to do. Yes. Right? It's so critical. You know, I want to just mention my disclaimer <laughs> for not being 100% here today is that after 16 years, I got yeah. sick. Okay? <laughs> I've... Not I finally got sick, but I got sick last Friday. I went home, I was perfectly fine. I got a fever 104, I was in bed. And all I could do while I was in bed, I was burning up, body ache, and everything was going down with my body. I knew what I had to do. I acted on it. Mm -hmm. I laid in the bed, I drank as much water. Mm -hmm. I drank coconut water. I didn't eat, and I just rested. Mm -hmm. My body just needed to rest and heal. And if you know what you need to do and you allow your body to do what it's supposed to do, then you got better results. Yeah. But many of us don't know what to do. And so, yes, I should have gone to emergency. Yes, I would have had all the other medications into my body, but here I am. Yeah. All right. So knowing what to do, taking action and doing more of the right things, plus for the last 16 years. Yeah. Teresa, I have been eating and stewarding my body yes. the best way that I can yeah. so that when the bug did infect me, right. which it ready. did, mm -hmm. I was ready. And my body can defend itself. Yep. You were and, armed. Yes, mm -hmm. and that's how our temple is made, yes. that we can take care of our own self yep. if we give it the right tools. And so some of the right tools will be given to us by Teresa <laughs> uh, after this break, but um, I'm just excited for just having you here today Thank you. and uh, just, just being here. So we're going to take a 60 second break and we'll return with more of the information that I really want you to know about. All right, mahalo. Hello, I'm Dave Stevens, host of the Cyber Underground. This is where we discuss everything that relates to computers that's just going to scare you out of your mind. So come join us every week here on thinktechhawaii.com, 1 p.m on Friday afternoons, and then you can go see all our episodes on YouTube. Just look up the Cyber Underground on YouTube. All our shows will show up, and please follow us. We're always giving you current, relevant information to protect you, keeping you safe. Aloha. Hi, I'm Lisa Kimura. I'm the host of Family Affairs on Think Tech Hawaii. Join us every Tuesday at 11 a.m. to talk about the issues that really matter. Everything from policies that need to be changed in Hawaii to the fact that we need better gender equality so that we can all have a better shot. Again, join us every Tuesday at 11 on Think Tech Hawaii for Family Affairs. Aloha. Aloha and welcome back to Taking Your Health Back with Wendy Lowe. We're shooting live from Think Tech Hawaii downtown Honolulu. Today we have as our honored guest, Dr. Teresa Wee. Thank you. So we're so grateful that you're here. And um, I know that we talked a lot about your past, mm -hmm. your history, and then your goals and what motivated you to continue on with even a little bit of setback in your life. And you said the higher power of Keokua propelled you to go forth yes. and make sure that you delivered the message that you set out to. Yes, yes. And yes. That passion in me said, I must continue. And, and again, um, one of the things I started immediately were um, obesity sessions, family obesity sessions in my office. But, 
but that was a lot of work, you mm -hmm. know, on my own time, and it took a lot of energy and, and, you know, even money out of me on my own. So I decided I wanted to do a community program yes. that would open up to any insurance, any age. Right. And that was the solution um, to that was yes. walk with a doc. Yeah, and that's what we want to talk about. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, here we go, guys. So this is your baby. So yes. So tell us all about walk in the doc. Yeah. So again, walk with a doc um, is, is a program that, that's a national program. You know, walking is man's best medicine. Walking has the least amount of dropout. Walking doesn't require any equipment. Hawaii has beautiful weather, so it just makes sense to, to have a walking program. And so, actually, I, I went back to visit my alma mater, Columbus Children's Hospital, Ohio State University, and Walk with a Doc International actually started <laughs> with the cardiologist. Really? <laughs> yes, Dr. David Sabgir. They were waiting for you to take this on, girl. Yeah, and he said- So proud of you. You know, on that next slide, he said, hey, you need to start a walk with a doc in Hawaii. And so that, and my mentor was also quite involved, and so she, Dr. Anna Marie Summer, and she said, hey, Teresa, start one. Wow. And that was my motivation to, to just go ahead and start one because Hawaii did not have one. So it is a nonprofit organization. Yes. So just describe to us what it entails. I mean, does it cost money for me to walk with a doc? Or tell me more about the details. Yeah, so, so walk with a doc again. All ages and all fitness are welcome. You could have any insurance. Um, and you, we start off with a new health tip every week. I will deliver a new health tip and educate you. We spend another five minutes just kind of stretching and warming up, and then we walk for 45 minutes. Now, Central Oahu Regional Park is perfect because we have a short route, a medium route, and a long route. Um, if you do the long route, you will walk approximately 1.7 miles. We regroup. I did that. Yeah. We regroup, and then we, you know, we recap the health tip for the latecomers, and we cool down. And Stay Fit Physical Therapy always has some fruits for us. And, you know, I, I've been very fortunate to have UHA Health Insurance support me these past three years. So now the key is how much? Oh, the walk is free. No way. Free? It's free. Okay, wait a minute. You got two parkies <laughs> over here. We and Lo, and you got a free walk in the park with a dog? Yes. Free? It's free. Okay, so guys, how many people do you get coming out every week? Well we, well, we get approximately 30 people coming out. 30 smart people that yes. take advantage of Dr. Wee's yes. energy and time. <laughs> okay, now, where's the rest of you guys? I <laughs> it's free. You get to pick her brain about issues, yes. about your child. You bring your child out and you walk with them, encouraging that this is what they should be doing. Yes. You get a health tip. You get free water. You get free fruit. Yes. Free. Free. And you know, I believe, and I know this is your heart, Dr. Wee, that I know that you would rather see your patients and other doctors' patients oh, of course. in the park walking, walking versus sitting in your office yes. waiting to be seen. Yes. Is that correct? That is correct. I mean, we, we need to just take action. How many times I've had people, wow, this is so much fun. I've heard about this for two years. You just need to put on your socks and just put on your shoes and get out. And you'll see how much fun. It is so much fun. Yes. You know, I, um, on one of the slides, <laughs> I, my Saturdays are kind of full. So I did look when I had the first free Saturday. Yeah. I said to Teresa, I said, you know what? I will come out. And I didn't know what to expect. Okay. I had my checkbook. And I thought, okay, there must be a fee to this. There's a catch. Nothing's free. There, you know, even you do a walks, it's a yeah. donation, right? And so, yes, the, the people there in the park that walked along with me, and uh, they, were, they were very kind yes. and forgiving, and they s stood by my side, and they got me through it all, and they showed me what I needed to do, and I had a great time. Good, good. But the, the whole idea about coming out yeah. for all of us is putting it in on your calendar. Yeah. Slotting it on your calendar. Right. And you know like how you have a jar, and you got to put the big nuggets in? This is a big nugget. Yes. Because it's your health. Yes. And it's free. <laughs> you know, and, and if the adults come out, the kupunas, the parents, the, you're setting such a wonderful role model for yeah. your children. And I, 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 
I don't know what else to say. You just need to come out because it really motivates. I've had fantastic testimonials from people. Right. They said, prior to this, I would never go to UFC gym or 24-hour fitness, but I decided I would come out and see what this is about. Wow. I've had people who felt like that and are now, every, every Saturday they're there. Right, because I look at your posts on Facebook and yeah. I see some of the regular. <laughs> yeah. I see Kaylee. Yes, yes. She's a regular. Our Miss Hawaii, uh, Crystal yeah, Lee. Crystal Lee. Mother. Uh -huh. Kay is your number one, I know. She's yeah. always there. And look yeah. at how fit and healthy and happy she looks. Yeah. She's yeah. got to keep up with that beautiful daughter of hers, <laughs> right? Yes. But that's what you get. You're going to get better looking skin, yep. better circulation, just a whole outlook of being better mm -hmm. and healthier. Yeah. And from and a doctor's point of view, that's. That's top of the top That's of the number grade. one. And, yeah. and how many adults, you know, the, the physician will say, okay, are you exercising? And, and, you know, you feel embarrassed. But this is such a wonderful opportunity to just say, you know what, let me just see what this is about. And, and once you come, you'll be hooked. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Hook them in, doctor. Hook them in. <laughs> so what do you perceive is the most valuable part of walk with a doc? Well, as I mentioned, I think it's, it's, it's the relationships and the friendships that we have developed over time. And, and it's, it's just a wonderful opportunity to, to meet others and not feel isolated. We're all working together toward a common goal. And um, I, I, just, I just think it's such a wonderful opportunity. <laughs> Very good. And you know, I just want to see more of us out there. Yeah. You know, and if you guys put a challenge out to any of your friends, your high school, you know, your reunions coming yeah. up, make some challenge that everybody joins together and just shows up. Yeah. The park is beautiful. It's beautiful. It's at underutilized, that time. I think, sometimes. Yes. Yes. But you're one of the groups that regularly meet there. Yep. And you take advantage of what beautiful, yeah. uh, lots of parking. Good air, everything is and, perfect and down there. And the pathways are paved. Yes. So we've even had people with walkers, strollers, mm -hmm. wheelchairs. I mean, it's, it's an amazing park. Yeah, so come out. If it's, you've never been out there, just come out just yeah. to experience the park. Yeah. And meet your friends on the west side. Right. And then after that, you guys can go away. Like Kelly, you can go shopping. Right. Right. You can go beach on the west side. You know, there's plenty of things to do, but just get out there and enjoy that good air. Yeah. yeah. You know, Dr. Wee, I also remember meeting you a few times um, volunteering with a lot of different clinics or um, presentations we yes. had with American Diabetes. Yeah. And um, what, what, you know, is your focus when you come out to help the ADA with mm -hmm. some of our clinics or our presentations? Yeah, I'm an uh, ADA speaker. Um, one of the things I, when I speak with um, the children or even um, workplaces, I talk about just starting with basics, family mm -hmm. meals, try to incorporate more fruits and vegetables. Again, it's not a crash course, it's mm -hmm. a lifestyle. Yes. Yeah, and that's, that's the whole idea. We have to remember, it's not a 10-day fast no. or a 10-day diet. Right. You know, we don't use those words. It's lifestyle, and it should be. And not that we want to encourage everyone to go vegan or vegetarian, no. but I do promote plant strong. Right. Okay? So at, at least 50% of the plate, mm -hmm. plant strong. Yeah, meats and proteins if you need it, mm -hmm. but you can get that in plants. But if we just go more... Right. plants. And also we have to remember um, everyone's into techie stuff, but we need to turn off the screens, mm -hmm. especially for the children. The Academy of Pediatrics, under three, zero screen time. Mm -hmm. Three to five, no more than two hours. And, and for others, yeah, we just need to turn off that screen. The more you sit down and look at screen, the more obese you are. Right. And you know, the, the opening statement that you shared with us earlier was that I know that Dr. David Katz of Yale University made mm -hmm. that statement about this is the first generation yes. of, of children, that their children will have a shorter life expectancy right. than theirs. And knowing that, because I use my children and my grandchildren as examples, knowing that my grandchildren mm -hmm. could have a shorter life expectancy than my children really scared the heck out of me. Yeah. And so that's why I'm on this mission. Good. And it's because, I mean, we're already here, yeah. but it's the next generations that we really have to right. hone in on right. and really protect. And they don't know any better. Right. And if we're going to mentor them, and if we're gobbling down the donuts and the orange juice for breakfast, that's what they're going to gobble down. 
Exactly. You know, and it, so we need to just take one more step further and see what they're seeing in us. Right. And then we can mentor them and guide right. them the right way. Right. right. So, so that's why I think it's so important to, for parents to understand. And, and really, in our multi-generational house, the kapunas are watching the children, so they also need to stay healthy. Yes, and that's, that's mm -hmm. so key, you know. Um, I always share with everyone, I was sharing a talk with these 80-year-old yes. Purple Heart recipients, and they're little old Japanese yeah. men. And I go in there, and they give me the donuts and all the naughty food, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to talk this down, but I'll take it. <laughs> I put it down, and I give them the whole health talk, yeah. right? And then the old man looks at me, he goes, Wendy, Try look around the room. We all 80 years plus. How much longer you want us to live? And I'm like, oh, Grandpa, you know what? No, no, no. Of course, you guys did a good job. Mahalo for taking care of our country. Mahalo for taking care of yourself that you live to be 80 plus. I said, but when you eat like this and your keiki, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren are watching you, that's what I don't like. So if you change it up, they're going to, yes. because they respect you, they're going to change it up because yes. you have such influence and impact on their future. Yeah. And you don't even know it. So let's change it a little bit. Yep. And you can eat the donut and the oranges when right. they're not e looking. E well, everything in moderation. <laughs> right. So, you know, once a week, but we just can't have it every day. Right, right. And so that's the whole idea. Just being aware of what we're doing because we don't even know it. This yep. is what we were raised on. Yep. We didn't know it was not as good. Yeah. There's good and not as good or good or better. Yeah. So we just have to realize what it is and make the better choice for yes. our daily lifestyles. Yeah. Is that correct? Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah, so let me see. I want to get an announcement in. Oh, yes, okay. An I was exciting announcement. announcement. Okay, I know, it can't hold you back. All okay. right. Okay, um, I'm finally getting a walk started in town. It's oh. called Walk with a Future Doc. Oh, okay, and that's the future. Yes. Got it, got so it. So the medical students are excited to get oh, this started okay. in two, 2019. Okay. And um, it's at the medical school in Kaka'ako. Okay, beautiful so, park. Yes, so stay Lots tuned. Lots of parking. Yes. And release that information as soon as you know it. Because yes, I will. And uh, coming up soon is your third anniversary. Yes, for it's this. our third anniversary mm -hmm. of Walk with a Doc at Central Oahu Regional Park. So I'm so excited. We're going to have a tent, sound system. We're going to have bouncy house, cakey fun. <laughs> We're going to have health vendors, area health vendors. We're going to have you come out, Wendy, Yay, tower my gardens. tower garden, show the cakey how they yeah. can grow their food on towers. But, I'll be there. Um, We're going to do blood pressures, uh -huh. um, fat analysis, just a whole bunch of excitement. And it's April 6th, Saturday, 2019. So mark your calendars out. Mark your calendars. I'm, and, I'll be there. And it's free. <laughs> That's the best price in town, guys. So, yeah. wow, we're so excited you got some great announcements in today. Yeah. And I'm just encouraged that I know the numbers will double up, if not more, great. after this lovely talk. But just please, Hawaii, just take heed and know that we have our health in our own hands and we can make a difference if we have the tools to do it. And Dr. Wee has given us many tools, and as long as we practice them, we yep. shall be healthier. We just need to move into action. Yes. Move into action now. Get it. I got it. <laughs> All right. So we'd like to say mahalo, Dr. Wee, for Thank being here with us today. Thank you for letting me be here. Mahalo. Aloha, everyone.